Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of lushes in love. Ooh. That love reality. <laughs> love celebrating with the community. We do. And we are lushes. At least I am. <laughs> and so, uh, 20,000 subscribers on this Definitely Not Definitive channel. Um, oh. So we are going to celebrate uh, with you all. Since this is also like, you know, thanks for everything that you all do for this channel. Um, we want to do a celebration video that has been one of our most requested videos. Uh, it's been a hell of a boss. People have been asked us to check that out, so we're going to start checking that out right now. Pop up with some bubbly, too. Yay! Cheers! So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thanks so much for, uh, yeah, being the best community ever. Best community ever. There you go. So now it's finally time to check out the pilot episode for Hell of a Boss. If we say bad words. <laughs> yeah, they got to make sure, because of the whole like YouTube thing, they make sure that you know it's not for kids. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here. Not see. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Nelly. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Oh, well, oh, Moxie, really glad you're in the room right now. Service we provide. Well, I sounds like a Dr. Seuss character. Considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week, one that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement spitting bullshit. <laughs> People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you going to crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Because <laughs> right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... <clears throat> what? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. <laughs> Wait, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I'm the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? Oh. After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professional. <laughs> This is giving me my head forever now. Mm -hmm. Oh! Doctor, he's not responding. Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything. Not losing another one. Stable condition, but he'll need surgery. And what insurance provider do you freaks have? <laughs> the fuck is insurance? Kids die for free. Oh. I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. <laughs> sit, sit on a, and the. the do your job! Okay, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Oh. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? <laughs> I... Oh. Then I don't want it! Damn it. Uh, excuse me. 
did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Where about the buggy, avocado salad in the fridge? I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. <laughs> you have my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! Oh! <laughs>
Wow. Uh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. He, he belongs on there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a guy. <laughs> 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 you know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please, everybody want to see my little Eddie. Please, don't. Mom sucks at drawing own kid. <laughs> That's me. Oh, that was awesome. I'm thrilled when the crimson starts to spill. And my Millie goes in for the kill. She takes away my breath. She's the angel of death for me. Oh, Millie, she's the queen. It's like a dream. When I hear her victims start to scream. Oh. In and out of the sack. She's the maniac for me. Oh, Millie, when the blood starts dripping down the walls. All right, that was super fun. What'd you think? I loved it. <laughs> I just absolutely loved it. I loved everything about it. It was filthy. It used bad language. It was hilarious. It had um, the off the beat, beaten path character. People yep. said what they thought. I love the dog. I love the hellhound. Of course, yeah. We're, you, knew, you knew Luna was going to be our favorite because like, we're, we're dog people. So the hellhound was just great. Uh, you know, it had the most personality. And... I was going to say, it wasn't just that she was a dog, but it was the totally, I don't give a Fuck personality yeah. that was just so fun. <laughs> Why would you drink on a work night? It's from this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how they went for it. They went for that, yeah. Like, because in most things, you know, uh, killing animals and killing uh, children are off limits, and you know that's just something you don't do. Like, like in horror movies, they don't, you usually don't do it, and like it's just like something that you usually just don't go there. Actually, no, they always kill the dog in the horror movies. Well, yeah, in the, in the horror movies, they kind of do that. But for this one, like. You know, they, they, they killed the kid. Like, not only that, they were, like, excited about it. And it's just like, it's like oh, thank God <laughs> we got to kill this kid. Not only that, but, like, they made the kid an asshole. So, yeah! Like, as an audience member, one, you're like, general consensus, don't hurt kids and animals. Yeah. Obviously. So, like, seeing it in this context where it's just, it's off the wall is hilarious. And it's going for the unexpected. And then when the kids are not be told asshole, you're like, yeah, they totally should have gone for that kid. Yeah, you see, he deserves to be down there. And uh, so, yeah, I like that they just, uh, they don't pull any punches. And no. um, it and I it, it's good. So, I mean, they were swearing in this and everything like that. But when the guy was talking like filthy and the phone about what he wanted to, uh, to do, they bleeped that out. So you just like, the fact that they had, they didn't, you know, uh, bleep any of the other cuss words. But they bleeped out what he was saying was extra effective because you're just like, oh, he is saying some dirty, filthy stuff. And yeah. they're bleeping that. That was that was a nice choice. I like that they did that. Like, if it's bleeped, it has yeah. it's earned the bleep. Yeah, it just makes it like, I mean, you know, they don't even need to say it. Like, I think they definitely did think out exactly what he was what he was saying. But even if they hadn't done that, just the bleeps itself, like, your mind starts to, like, you know, fill in. Fill in the blanks. Yeah, fill in the blanks for, for them. And, uh, you know, it's just... Yeah, it's just, it was it was very clever. This was just so much fun. I, I applaud the creators. I definitely want to watch more of this. And, yeah. and I think, you know, the, the pull no punches, go for it in every way mentality that they have approached this with is perfect. And I like the, you know, the sweet little, uh, at the end too, the relationship between... Um, the O'Milly song. <laughs> yeah, between Millie and Moxie. 
uh, the O'Milly song and like how she would like chime in there too. And she's the super kind of like upbeat positive one. And he's like the curmudgeon. Yep. <laughs> but also the only one that kind of like is like a little bit sane as well. Like the boss is crazy. Yes. Looking forward to checking out the rest of this. Uh, I can see why the community wanted us so much to check this out. Definitely. And, uh, to get into this, you knew it'll be up our alley and it totally is. Yes. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody so much uh, for Check out our reaction for Hell of a Boss, the pilot, but you keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.